Hey Fritz. Hey Jen. Hey, we are going to learn how to do NBD, NBD, <laughs> navigation on X-Plane, right? Okay, NBD is non-directional, non-something beacon. <laughs> I think it means non-directional beacon, but it also stand, uh, they also use ADF in the game, right? Mm -hmm. Remember ADF? And so what you do, let's say if Mickey Mouse here, is our NDB beacon, right? Mm -hmm. And Mickey Mouse is broadcasting on 353. Mm -hmm. And that's an AM radio station. You could actually plug it into your AM radio deal, you know, like your little radio, mm -hmm. and you could actually hear the beacon. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a beacon near us and we could hear the beacon. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So let's say Mickey Mouse is our beacon, right? Mm -hmm. And so we stick Mickey Mouse right here. Mm -hmm. And when we're in our airplane, the only thing that beacon is going to do is just going to point us to where Mickey Mouse is, right? Let's say this this was the arrow and it was pointing that way. <laughs> the, the, the beacon is that way, right? Mm -hmm. So if I and if I went over here, now my arrow is pointing back toward Mickey, right? So the this was invented a long time ago, and we mm -hmm. played around with it a little bit mm -hmm. in X Plane, right? But I'm going to show you what's real useful for, because um, this was invented in the '40s, and what they used it for back in the day. Because it doesn't tell you like how high this is, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't tell you how high you are off the ground, and it doesn't really give you a radial, you know, like a line to follow, like the ILS does. Remember the ILS yeah. for landing? But what it can do for us, which is real easy, is you can have the arrow, like if Mickey's over here, and see our, our runway is right here, mm -hmm. it can line me up to get me to the spot to turn the ILS on mm -hmm. to do the landing, right? Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we are going to get on our X plane, and we are going to do some NBD tracking. NBD, da 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 tracking, mm -hmm. and hopefully not Mickey Mouse, right? Okay, ready? All right. Boy, boy. Okay, Fritz, we're in our Eclipse 550, right? Mm -hmm. The Eclipse 550. I love this plane. It's our favorite plane, right? Mm -hmm. And what we're going to be doing today is learning the NDB. Um, tracking system right mm -hmm. and this is the easiest thing to do even though we did the landing with the uh, LOC right mm -hmm. but now we're going to do NDB so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my local map and we're at San Antonio right now actually we're at somebody's ranch in the middle of nowhere and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the arrows and I'm gonna take everything off except NDB and I'm toggling it back and forth to see where NDB is. Now you see it. See it? Mm -hmm. See these that popped up? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's let's pick this one. And what I really hate about this program right now, maybe I'm gonna find a plugin for this, is that when I scroll in, this doesn't get any bigger. And I have you know I have bad eyes, so it's hard for me to read it. So can you read it? Three fifty three? Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah, three fifty three. Three fifty three. All right, so all that system is, right, we explained it just points to it, right? Mm -hmm. And the way to do it on this plane and most of the other ones is this one called ADF. So I click that on, and that gives me this number. Mm -hmm. And what was the number? Um, 363. 353 or 63? I think it's 353. 353? Do we have to make sure again? No, it's not. 353. Okay. 353. And on this one, I have to plug it in over here. And when I have to do this paused because this one has like a, you know, other planes are different how you punch the numbers in. This one, it's with this thing and it's a real pain because it doesn't match. 350. Oh, 353, right? Mm -hmm. So you see how it kept moving because it finds different ones? All right, so that tells us it's that direction, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's throw ourselves in the air. And we can track toward it. All right, so I'm gonna put it at 200 knots at 4,500 feet. What about that? Mm -hmm. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right, and take my gear off and my brakes off. And let's look down there, see the arrow? Mm -hmm. So if I turn toward it, I am turning toward the beacon, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens, you think, if I fly straight over the beacon? I don't know. The arrow will flip around mm -hmm. and go, it'll, it'll turn one direction and then go back, like, it'll point the other way. Mm 
okay? That's, that's what's going to happen to it. So when we get close to it here, which I think, let's see how far away it is. Is it a ways away? Let's see. It's just right there. It's not that far, right? Mm -hmm. So what I can do... I can try to hold this position here. There we go. I'm holding it, I'm not touching anything. I did the trim. I'm, I'm gaining a little bit of altitude. But here's the thing I was trying to show you earlier is going a little bit faster in time. You wanna go faster in time? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's down here. It says two speed tick track. Yeah. Now, now we're going double fast, mm -hmm. okay? So, oh, we're passing it, see? Oh, see what happened to the arrow? Mm -hmm. So the only thing this thing does is just, it just points us to where the, the station is, that's mm -hmm. it. It doesn't tell us how far we are away from it. I don't think I'm gonna have to do this because it's kind of easy. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> it is pretty easy. This, the, that's what I'm saying, like this is the easiest thing to follow. And there's not very many of these stations around because this is made more for older aircraft you know, or for like person pilots like us, you know, um, because you're not using really the computer or anything. And it doesn't tell you very much, but like, say, say I want to fly, I want to fly north of that station, right? Mm -hmm. And so see, I've got it on my left side and as I pass it, it should, it should get further to the other direction, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, I don't get any relation of where this thing is, right? But it does help us um, with navigating, and, and I'll show you. Like when we work up to it, Fritz, this is going to be uh, your your flight test. Is you're going to fly from San Antonio to Austin, mm -hmm. and that's Austin right there, right? Mm -hmm. And let me, cause let me show you this. Let me zoom back out a little bit, and I'm going to put airports on, or ILS. Put ILS. Okay. So if you take off from, let's see, a San Antonio, this is San Antonio, mm -hmm. right? If you take off from here and you track this away, you can use that beacon to get yourself uh, over to Austin, okay? Let me, let me do the beacon. Okay. Because there are several, oh, that's, that's, no, that's San Marcos. All right, so you pass this beacon, mm -hmm. right? The direction says go that way, mm -hmm. and then you can go to this beacon. But do you notice how these beacons are set up right before mm -hmm. the landing path? Yeah. Okay, and this is this is made for people like us, like, you know, little pilots, not like mm -hmm. big airline pilots, mm -hmm. um, because the big airline pilots don't need this thing. But what happens is, is, is we can fly toward one of these beacons, and then once we, we pass over top of it, we know that we are in line for the landing path right mm -hmm. does it look like the 10 mile approach mm -hmm. right yes yeah. Yeah? yeah okay so like say if i put myself right now at a 10 mile approach for this runway and i wish i could see which runway it is right mm -hmm. you know i might be able to zoom into that can i zoom into that? oh my goodness i can't read it can you read that um, zoom in small. i can't it doesn't zoom in it like it's 350 Three five right maybe. Yeah, I think it's three five right. Okay, so this is three five right. Let's put ourselves at three mile approach. Okay, all right. So th at three five left, at a three mile approach, we're we're here, right? Mm -hmm. And if we do a ten mile, at um, three five left, is that three five left? Did I just say three five left? Mm -hmm. Get myself confused. Okay, at ten mile approach at three five left. And there's the NDB station that the arrow should be pointing toward us, right? Mm -hmm. So now do you understand why these things are really helpful? Mm -hmm. uh, because it, it will guide you toward the glide scope, the, the mm -hmm. glide path, right? Mm -hmm. For the landing cycle, for these little, run, you know, smaller runways uh, like this. Not all the runways have these things, um, but I noticed that kind of these regional airports like this do. So what you can do is you set yourself up for that. So like, say if I set myself up for that and then a landing at, at 110.95, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's the code, right? For the ILS code? 
I think it's the wrong one. Well, it doesn't matter. Both sides are the same. One ten ninety five. One ten ninety five. So if I plug in uh, one ten ninety five down here. So turn off. Oh, we're already on there. We're already at one ten ninety five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're at one ten ninety five, and then we've got the arrow pointing us there. Okay. So we can we can get ourselves in position for that landing mm -hmm. and then once we pass that ndb and the ndb switches mm -hmm. then you can turn on the autopilot to land yourself mm -hmm. right so it's a way of getting you in relation to the you know the the airport mm -hmm. right does that make sense for you yeah. that's kind of a hard concept for a seven-year-old to figure out it, it's it's really called a radio and we haven't got to that yet um but anyway does that make sense this whole yeah. ndb thing so you think you'd be able to, to find one on the map and plug it in and then fly towards it and all that? This is this is easy for you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's NDB tracking. That's not hard, right? No. Not hard for, for Fritz? It's not hard. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see y'all later, right, Fritz? Bye. Bye.